How do you know that you're a victim of narcissistic abuse? Well, there are some key questions to help you know if you're a victim of this abuse or not. Hi, I'm Chelsea Penner and I am a survivor of narcissistic abuse. I have been thoroughly traumatized by a narcissist, covert narcissist, and I was very confused at the time, just like all abuse victims are. We all have that in common. We're very confused as to what's going on because the narcissist does an amazing job of making us feel like it's all our fault. Anything that goes wrong, it's our fault. So I actually had a few therapists last year and I got therapy all year. And there was one thing all three therapists had in common. And that was they all agreed that I was getting emotionally abused. None of them used the words narcissist or anything like that. But once the term emotional abuse came about, I actually found some TikTok videos because of the algorithm. And I noticed there were some coincidences. But the key question that one of my therapists asked me was the absolute reason I knew for sure I was most definitely a victim of narcissistic abuse. And what she said was very important, so pay attention. She said, Chelsea, this is the cycle of abuse pattern. Does this sound familiar to you? Love bombing devaluing, discarding, then hoovering, which is basically trying to get you back. Uh, Another form of the love bombing phase, but a lesser version of it because it's a rinse repeat cycle. So then the cycle starts again. Love bombing, devalue, discard, hoover, rinse, repeat, when she asked me, Chelsea, does this sound familiar? I was speechless and I cried and I cried. I couldn't even say yes. I knew I was a victim of this abuse cycle. And the shame that everyone gave me for choosing to have a baby with this man and why choose a man that does that to you? Why this, why that? Everything started to make sense. And I stopped blaming myself and I stopped beating myself up. Once what I was going through was confirmed and validated, I could actually articulate what I was going through instead of just being confused about it. This was key for my healing. So key. This is a turning point. This turning point gave me empowerment to heal instead of just, why me? How did this happen? How did he trick me? How how did he pretend to be so amazing to me for so many years with no sign of narcissism that I could see until I got pregnant? How? And then I was able to look at, okay, so this is what happened then what attracted me to a narcissist? The love bombing. The love bombing is what basically won me over for this narcissist because I had so many men express their interest in me, but he would actually put the actions into it. So I would feel loved. I would feel valued. I'd feel cared for. I would feel seen and heard and appreciated because he was seemingly doing everything right, but it was only because he was mirroring me and knew what I wanted. Years of manipulation to win me over. And once he got his hook in me when I was pregnant, all bets were off and the true colors came out. That's when the cycle of abuse started to show up clearly. So how do you know that you're a victim of narcissistic abuse? It's that abuse cycle. Have you been in that 
emotionally, emotionally abused, love bombed, devalued, then discarded, then hoovered, which means trying to get you back. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Has that happened to you? Does that sound familiar to you? If so, there are coaches that can help you heal from this abuse. So many of us experience PTSD after this cycle of abuse because it's one of the most confusing things you'll ever experience in your life. And no one on the outside will understand you. You get gaslighted. Everyone will think you're crazy and stupid. You need a coach. You need support. You need love. I'm here for you. I've been a life coach for almost a couple decades now. I was a coach before it was cool. And then I niched into love and dating and relationships. All my self-help, self-improvement years, um, decades of research, tons of research on love and relationships. So I knew how to be the best partner possible. But that actually made me the perfect victim for a narcissist because I was so giving and patient and understanding and willing to help. My biggest mistake, and don't let it be yours, was not learning about narcissists and their abuse cycles. With all my years of research, I skimmed over that, and it's one of my deepest regrets. But now that I lived through it and I understand it, I can help others. So please reach out, get your support. I love you.